Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here. Got Stacy with me. Shalom. And we're doing our fun fact of the day. Okay. Today's fun fact is about Rome and Jerusalem. Okay. Now, I was on the internet looking around and found this interesting fact about the United Nations. Mm. Apparently, there are 196 nations in the world. Okay, I did not know that. Yeah, there are. I mean, either. There's 196 nations. But here's something else we didn't know. Only two of them are not included in the United Nations. Wow. Out of the whole world, the United Nations is the whole world except two countries. And I know one is probably Russia. Nope. Russia's in the United Nations. Try again, though. That's a good guess. You probably want to guess Taiwan. Yeah. Taiwan is not in the United Nations because it's considered a part of China. Okay. Well, I was so going to say. So technically they are because they're a part of China. So it, well, I don't want to get into all that, but yeah. I was going to say um, North Korea. Yep. They're in the United Nations. I don't know what other nation to name <laughs> <laughs> yep all of those nations are in there iran uh every, really? every just about every place you could think of including south africa is in the united nations the only two countries that are not in the united nations are palestine and vatican city mm. right the vatican city is a nation i i didn't remember that but i have heard that and Palestine. And Palestine. Okay, and so what's the significance? I can think about the significance of the Vatican, but what is the significance of Palestine? Palestine is where Jerusalem is at. Oh. Jerusalem is in Palestine. So Jerusalem is not a nation in itself. No. Palestine is the nation. Palestine is the nation. Israel is over there in Palestine, too. That's kind of where Israel is at, is in the nation of Palestine. Palestine is why they got so much trouble going on over there because Palestine so is actually is in charge. So this is interesting. Israel, Jerusalem, and the Vatican. I don't know. There's some kind of connection there. There's definitely a connection there. The connection is these are the two places in the Bible that's promised to be destroyed. Mm. Rome is promised to be destroyed and Jerusalem is promised to be destroyed. Both of them are promised to be annihilated in hmm. the apocalypse. That's what the apocalypse is all about. I mean, there's going to be effects around the world. We know we're going to have locusts and earthquakes and all kinds of other stuff around the world. Mm -hmm. But ground zero of the apocalypse is when this huge rock comes out of the sky and lands on Mount Olives right there on the east side of Jerusalem. And by ground zero for those non-military people, you mean that's where the action is about to happen? And that's where it's, that's 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 where you don't want to be. It's right. right there in Jerusalem is right there where that huge rock that we read about over in Daniel mm -hmm. is going to come. And like I said, it's going to hit Mount Olives. We see in Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 4. And it's going to split that whole mountain into two halves, basically creating a crater out of the Mount of Olives. Right? That's the mountain where our Messiah went up. And he promised that he was going to come back to the same mountain. Mm -hmm. Well, he's going to be that stone that we hear about in Daniel and actually going to destroy that whole part of the world. Wow. Okay. So that's very interesting. It's very interesting. And then Jerusalem is also promised to be destroyed, completely annihilated, like you read in Revelation chapter 18, mm -hmm. where it's going to be made into a wasteland it says nobody will ever inhabit that part of the world again okay so maybe i didn't catch this where is the vatican actually located i thought that was located in turkey no actually the vatican is in italy right italy right. Yeah. yeah italy yeah. rome right um is where the vatican is at and Jerusalem is in Palestine and the only two nations not included in the UN are the two nations that are prophesied to be destroyed. I mean, the rest of the world, America is not prophesied to be destroyed at all, mm -hmm. even though we have Yellowstone and maybe California may see some shakings going on. And Russia is not promised to be destroyed. China is not promised to be destroyed. Those places will still have life in them. But Rome and Jerusalem will be gone. OK, so my question is, what is the significance of being a part of the United Nations. 
you know, opposed to not being a part of it. The United Nations is kind of all about pro solving the problems of the world. Any any type of problem, whether it's hunger, whether it's war, whether it's threats from outer space, the it's the basically the whole world that's united together against mm -hmm. these threats, whether okay. it be diseases or anything that tackles the world. Mm -hmm. So another question is, is the United Nations and NATO the same? No, NATO was actually before the United Nations. It was mm -hmm. kind of where it all started, where you had countries coming together and they were coming together against Russia. NATO was kind of designed for this day when Russia started to rise up, mm -hmm. but it was kind of um, defanged, as they say, and the UN kind of took its place now. Okay. But then they allowed Russia in there, so even now the UN doesn't really have any authority over Russia because authority because of Russia can veto anything oh, that okay. they that okay. they come up with. All right. And that's kind of how I got to looking into it because they recently had a resolution against Russia telling them that they should pay for what they're doing over there in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And so I got to looking at what countries were a part of the UN. Right. And turns out the only places that are not in the UN are the Vatican and Jerusalem, Vatican City and Jerusalem. That is very interesting. Well, it's, it's kind of goes along with what we were talking about a few days ago on how all of the major religions have to fall. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. we were talking about, you know, if there was an event, say only the Vatican fell, like we read about in Revelation chapter 18. Mm -hmm. Well, then those in Jerusalem would stand up and say, well, I told you so. I told you we were the correct religion. Right. And then they would promote people and put them back in the temple and then they would continue on as they are mm -hmm. and vice versa. If Jerusalem was destroyed and the Vatican was allowed to go on, mm -hmm. those in the Vatican would say, you know, I told you that God was against the Jews and, mm -hmm. and we are the right religion and the whole world will become Catholic. Right. Mm -hmm. Same with Muslim, same with Buddhist, same with Hindu. Yeah. All the religions have to uh, be dethroned, I guess. Every one of them, even down to your local churches. Right. Your local churches will have to fall, too. The Reverend Pastor Deacon Dr. Doug has to go away in the apocalypse. Else, after the apocalypse, somebody's going to go find him and going to put him back behind the pulpit. And he's going to continue saying the same old message that he's been saying the whole time. Mm -hmm. So just like Jeremiah chapter 14 says in 14 through 16, that anybody, any of the false prophets in the world is going to have to be exterminated off of the planet. And even those who are following the false prophets, he says, are going to be cast out into the street. Mm -hmm. So that after this apocalypse, right. we learn over in the third testament of the Bible, there will be no longer any of these wolves that are going to prey on the sheep, mm -hmm. steering them astray, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, t telling them against the instructions of the Bible, telling them against the feast days and all of these things that are part of the law. Everybody who's doing this is going to be exterminated like roaches. Taking advantage of them. Taking advantage of yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. And lack so. Lack of understanding, lack of knowledge, right? They're all going to have to go away. And I guess the main examples will be the big three, where you have Jerusalem being hit by a rock, the Vatican being totally annihilated, and then the Muslims seems like they're just going to destroy themselves mm. in war and stuff. But. Mm. But anyway, just wanted to share that fun fact with you guys. That's very interesting. Uh, first, I did not know there were 192 nations simply because you only hear about 10 or 15 of them. <laughs> and then um, that those two were the ones that were not a part of the UN. The UN has complete dominance over the entire world. And maybe the UN is uniting against these two countries and 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 that's an interesting note is that revelations 18 and zechariah 14 are not necessarily pointing against the religion as it is pointing against the land yeah the land mm -hmm. so i guess no matter what faith you're in you don't want to be nowhere close to that part of the world mm -hmm. you know in the apocalypse else you might get hit by this big rock
<sighs> there are a lot of good people over there. A lot of um, people who, you know, we believe and from our understanding have been called over to that land uh, just for the purpose of annihilation. Yeah. But we will see. Oh, we're going to see one way or the <laughs> other. We're going to see. <laughs>